Hey everybody, my name is Michael Coleman. I'm a sophomore here studying chemical engineering. My proposed project to you all is biodiesel for microalgae. Now you might ask, why microalgae? Well, first of all, fossil fuels are going away and they contribute to global warming. Also, we need the time for a reliable, renewable fuel source that compared to fossil fuels, the time to find that is now. We have ethanol. Ethanol is in our gas now. Ethanol is usually made from corn. Corn only has one growing season, which means it only grows in a certain period of the year. Microalgae, on the other hand, only grows every day of every year. It's a continuous process. With that being said, microalgae can produce 80% of its weight in oil, which is what we want. Now, how are we going to do this on UTC's campus? We're going to grow microalgae in a bioreactor. This bioreactor will allow us to have a controlled environment to exponentially grow microalgae. Once we have this microalgae, we'll then separate the oil and the microalgae chemically. Once we have extracted this oil, we will then use another reaction to convert it into biodiesel. What's next? We're going to test various commercial strains of microalgae. By this, we're going to change different parameters to provide optimal growth and optimal oil yield. We're going to use this gas chromatograph shown below to see how efficient this oil is. Also, once we've converted to biodiesel, we're going to use a diesel engine and this gas chromatograph to see what we have and analyze the different kinds of carbons that we have in this molecule. Now, what's the significance? We're going to be able to help the environment. That is our number one goal. We can reduce carbon emissions. Next is that chemical engineers are being exposed to biochemistry and industrial processes. There's also potential for interdepartmental research. And lastly, Apple biofuel can be used to power your very own vehicles and help save the environment. That is all. Thank you.